Hello everyone, welcome to Data Engineering Studies. As part of Azure Use Cases playlist, we are going to see an interesting use case. The use case is copy a file from Azure Data Lake Gen 2 to a dedicated SQL pool table created on the fly using a pipeline in Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. We have a CSV file present in Azure Data Lake Gen 2. We are going to load the data from CSV file to a dedicated SQL pool table which is created on the fly using a pipeline. We are going to do this exercise in Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. Before we get into the implementation, let's see some of the prerequisites of this use case. First, we need to have a storage account with the source files copied in a container. I have a storage account. Inside that, I have a source container with two CSV files inside. The grades.csv file is having the grade information. This file has the name, social security number, the number of test and the final grade. We also have names.csv file which has the list of company names and their core models. We are going to load the data from one of these CSV files to a dedicated SQL full table using Azure Synapse Analytics. Let me go to the home page again. Here is my dedicated SQL pool which is up and running. I also have an active Synapse Analytics workspace. Here is a home page of the Synapse Analytics workspace. And if you select data, we have two sections, workspace and linked service. Inside the workspace, we will see the objects that are related to dedicated SQL pool like tables, views, stored procedure, schemas and all this. Inside the linked, by default, we have Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Inside that, we have the storage account and the container where we have the files. As part of this use case, we are going to load one of these files to the dedicated SQL pool table which is present inside the workspace under tables. Let's see the step-by-step -step implementation. The first step is to create the pipeline and parameterize the file name. In my Synapse Analytics homepage, let me go to Integrate and create a new pipeline. Let me name my pipeline as PL CSV to table. For any data movement related tasks, we have to import the copy data activity, which is under move and transform. Let me import the copy data activity. And in the pipeline setting, I'm going to parameterize the file name. I have clicked the grid, which is outside the copy data activity and click new and mention my parameter name. I'm going to name it as file name space is not allowed so i'm going to remove the space we are going to get the file name dynamically from the user during runtime the next step is to create the source data set and the linked service let me create the source data set for that i'm selecting the copy data activity and select the source settings and create a new data set. Let me click new. My source files are in data lake gen 2. Let me select data lake gen 2 storage and click continue. The source files are CSV files. Let me click delimited text and click continue. Here I have to provide a name to my data set. Let me name it as DS source. 
source file. Now I'm going to create a linked service to establish a connection between my Synapse Analytics and Azure Data Lake Gen 2. For that, I'm going to select linked service and create a new linked service. I'm going to name it as ls source file. and select my Azure subscription and select my storage account name and test my connection. My connection is successful. Let me create the linked service. My linked service is successfully created. I am going to select the file path and select the source container. Here, I am going to parameterize to fetch the file name. Let me click OK and click OK again. My data set and my linked service is successfully created. You can see the data set created in the data component and select linked. Inside the integration data sets, we will be able to see the data set that we created. Let me click the data set that we just created. Here I am going to parameterize the file name. Let me go to parameters and create a new parameter. Let me name it as file name and if needed we can set the default value. Let me go to connection. This file name sh should come from pipeline parameter. Let me click dynamic and in the expression builder, I am going to select the file name. Let me click OK. My source data set and its corresponding linked service is successfully created. The next step is to create the target data set. If you notice in my previous slide that I mentioned that I am going to create only the target data set and I am not going to create the target linked service. The reason why I said that is because in the workspace, the connection to the dedicated SQL pool is already established. So I don't have to create an explicit target linked service. Let me create the target data set. Let me go to pipeline and select copy data activity. And in the sync settings, I will be creating the target data set. Let me do that. Sync. Create a new data set. My data store is dedicated SQL pool. Let me click dedicated SQL pool and click continue and give a name to my data set. DS target. Here I will be selecting the dedicated SQL pool. I don't have a table name which is already created. I am going to create the table on the fly. So I will be selecting enter manual and provide a schema name dbo and provide the table name. Let me name my table as test table. There is no schema to import because the table is not available. So let me click none and click OK. Now if you scroll down, I will be selecting the table option as auto create table because the table is not created. The next step is to link the pipeline parameter to the copy data activity parameter. In order to pass the pipeline parameter, let me go to source settings. This copy data activity file name value should come from pipeline parameter. In order to do that, let me click add dynamic contents and select the file name. So if you see in the expression builder, this file name is coming from pipeline parameters. Let me click OK. 
our pipeline is almost created. Let me validate my pipeline and see if there are any issues. Let me click validate. We are seeing an error saying that direct copying data to SQL pool using copy command is only supported when source data set escape character and code character are same. Let me fix that error. Let me click close and select source data set. Here is my source data set. Source data set. If you scroll down, code character and escape character are now different. Let me make it as same. Double quote. Now let me go to the pipeline and validate the pipeline again. My pipeline is validated successfully. Let me close and run my pipeline by clicking the debug button. Let me click debug. In the parameter, I want to load names.csv file. Let me mention that names.csv. Now let me click OK. The pipeline is running. The pipeline ran successfully. Now let me see if the data is loaded into the dedicated SQL pool. Let me go to data. Inside that, let me select workspace and refresh the table. We see that the table is created. Let me query the table. The data is successfully loaded from the CSV file. I hope you like this video and I'm sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in yet another interesting use case. Thank you.